Hello and welcome to the Desmond Fish Library eBranch. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can check out and download eBooks and audiobooks to your iTouch, your iPhone, or your iPad. First, we're going to visit the App Store. And we're going to search for an application called Overdrive Media Console. It's a free application. So we're going to click on free and then click on install. You'll be prompted for your password and you'll begin to install the OverDrive Media Console. Once you've installed it, you can click on it and you'll be in the OverDrive Media Console. If you're using an iPad, this application has been designed for the iTouch and the iPhone, so you'll find a small circle on the bottom left-hand side, and click on that. It says 2x on it, and it'll make it larger for your iPad screen. The first thing that opens is Welcome to Overdrive, which is an audiobook which kind of explains the whole Overdrive process. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to get books. Now we're going to add a website. And this is going to add the Desmond Fish Library's website for you. So under Find a Library, I'm going to put the library's zip code, which is 10524, and hit Search. Okay, in this list, I'm going to pick from the top, Alice Curtis Desmond and Hamilton Fish Library. And from here, I'm going to click the digital downloads area. And this will show you the items that are available for checkout. Okay, I'm going to pick this French audiobook to show you how this is done. And if you scroll down, you'll see there's two selections. There's Add to Cart and Add to Wish List. If this item was already checked out and unavailable for checkout, that button would say Join Waiting List. You will receive an email when the book was ready to pick up. This now shows my cart, and I can either continue browsing or proceed to the checkout. Next, it's asking me to log in. I'm going to select my library, and we are listed under Alice Curtis Desmond, so it's going to be in the A's, not under Desmond Fish or Garrison Library. Hit Done. Now you'll be asked to put in your library card number. So in the back of your library card, you can put the barcode number and then your PIN. If you have yet to create a PIN or if you forgot your PIN, if you go to the first page of our eBranch, you will be able to reset your PIN or have your reminder sent to you. After you log in, you will now have the opportunity to download the item to your iPod. You'll now have the opportunity to download this to your iTouch, your iPhone, or your iPad. Thanks for watching.